Welcome to the He's Got Issues DC Comics Edition number 153.2. I'm John Cooney here to preview new DC Comics being released December 24th, 2014, beginning alphabetically with Aquaman number 37. The King of the Seas takes on the Warlord of Gorilla City when Aquaman and Grodd collide. Next we have Arkham Manor number 3. All is not as it seems as Batman's plans unravel in Arkham Manor and Jack Shaw investigates the serial killer who's murdering inmates. We've also got Batman 66, number 18, two bat tales in one issue. When Barbara Gordon finds her library attacked by the bookworm, it's time for Batgirl to sprint into action. Meanwhile, Batman and Robin find things in Gotham City turned upside down when the archer steals GCPD's computer and gives the criminals the upper hand on the police. Next, we have Batman Annual number 3. Don't miss this top secret tale that ties into the endgame storyline running now in Batman. Sorry, but that's all we can tell you. Trust us, it's going to be big. We've also got Batman Eternal number 38. The refugees from Arkham Asylum think there's safety in numbers, but not if one of them is Bane. Next, we have Bodies number 6 of 8. Four time periods, four detectives, four murders, identical MO, identical location, same body, and now four murderers step into the frame, all very different, yet all unnervingly familiar. It's time for our detectives to face their query, but which is the hunter and which is the prey? We've also got Catwoman Annual Number 2. The Hasegawa crime family has been a big thorn in Selina's side as she grapples with the underworld. Now learn the secret of how their stories intersect. Next we have Dead Boy Detectives Number 12. After her whirlwind adventures with Charles and Edwin, Crystal's supernatural entanglements can't be shrugged off, particularly when Charles is looking to get as entangled as metaphysically possible. And so, Crystal is almost relieved when Tragic Mick turns up at the treehouse, bringing with him a very unexpected visitor. We've also got Deathstroke number 3. Deathstroke's taking bigger and bolder risks as the hunt for his stolen memories continues. Slade will be pushed to the edge to achieve his goal, but will he ultimately be undone by executing his way to the truth? Next, we have Earth 2 World's End number 12. The epic battle rages on as elemental avatars for Earth 2 try to take down the furies of Apocalypse. We've also got Flash number 37. Behold the all-new, all-murderous Flash. Next, we have Gotham by Midnight number 2. Internal Affairs agent Rook is learning the Midnight Shift really does have the hard cases, and Jim Corrigan may not be able to bail him out, at least not without some divine intervention. But can Corrigan risk letting loose the wrath of God, especially against a departed sister? We've also got Grayson Annual number 1. At last, it's the secret origin of Helena Bertinelli. Next, we have Green Lantern Annual number 3, Godhead Act 3, Part 6. The massive finale is here. On one side stand the new gods on the verge of conquering our universe in order to save it. On the other side stand the combined might of the various Lantern Corps, or what's left of them. And in the wings wait the unlikeliest of allies, Hal Jordan and Black Hand. Changes are coming to the heroes of interstellar space, and it all starts here in the climactic final battle of mortals versus gods. We've also got Harley Quinn number 13, Harley Quinn and Power Girl, the team up that no one said could last, ends with spectacular violence. Next we have He-Man the Eternity War number 1, the war to end all wars has begun in Eternia. Hordak and the villainous Dark Horde have taken over Castle Grayskull and plan to use it as a weapon to terrorize and rule the universe. However, resistance is building led by She-Ra, the sorceress Tila, and the benevolent warrior He-Man. To what lengths will the masters of the universe go to reclaim their kingdom? What sacrifices must He-Man make to salvage his family legacy? Don't miss a moment of this epic new Masters of the Universe series. We've also got Infinity Man and the Forever People number 6, a tie-in to the Godhead storyline. Simon Boss joins the fray and unleashes a green mecha dark side to battle an oversized Infinity Man as the Green Lantern New Gods War reaches its climax. Next we have Injustice Gods Among Us Year 3 number 6. Swamp Thing has an answer for Constantine's request, but it's not the one the mage had hoped to hear, and a major rift severs the uneasy alliance these two have shared. Plus, Constantine tells Batman that they now have a new, more deadly foe to face. We've also got Justice League Dark number 37. Trapped in a universe outside time, the members of Justice League Dark must survive a surreal landscape to find their way home at the beginning of time. Next, we have New 52 Future's End number 34. 35 years from now, Brother I continues to prove that he won't allow himself to be beaten. Five years from now, it's clear that he may already have won. 
We've also got Red Hood and the Outlaws Annual number two. Red Hood, Arsenal, and Starfire face the one enemy they may not be able to defeat, the Holidays. Next we have Red Lanterns number 37, Godhead Act 3 Part 4. As the battle rages on New Genesis, Guy Gardner is dispatched on a dangerous mission that could change everything. But the New Gods don't know Guy or his secret death wish. Unfortunately, Guy wasn't expecting an incredible temptation to appear in his way. We've also got Robin Rises Alpha number one. It all ends here. Batman's been to the hells of Apocalypse and back just to retrieve his son's body. But what has he brought back with him? And who is the new Robin? Next we have Secret Origins number eight. Three more stars of the DC Universe shine as their origin stories are revealed. Don't miss the DC Comics New 52 Origins of Grayson by Tim Seeley, Tom King, and Stephen Mooney. Animal Man by Jeff Lemire and Travel Foreman. And Katana by Anna Senny and Cliff Richards. We've also got Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman number 5. Wonder Woman has accepted a covert mission from Queen Hippolyta, infiltrate Apocalypse, find a group of Amazons imprisoned there by Darkseid, and bring them home alive. But a battle with the female Furies almost proves fatal and throws Diana's plans into chaos. Next we have Sinestro number 8, Godhead Act 3 Part 5. Sinestro knows the only thing standing between the new gods and universal domination is bringing Hal Jordan into the fight on New Genesis. But Sinestro always has more than one plan, the one you know about and the one you don't. Which mission succeeds will depend on many factors, not the least of which is Sinestro's lust for power. We've also got Star Spangled War Stories featuring G.I. Zombie number 5. In September, we saw a glimpse of a zombie-infected world five years in the future. Now, even as Jared tries to save Carmen's life, he's forced to lead his new team against the terrorists whose actions are making it look less and less like that future can be avoided. Next, we have Superman number 37. Can there be peace and goodwill towards people without a price? Jeff Johns and John Romita Jr. serve up some holiday shocks as they answer this question and more in this penultimate chapter of Men of Tomorrow. And be warned, some significant changes are in store for the Man of Steel to ring in the new year. And we've got Superman Wonder Woman number 14. It's no surprise that after recent events, Superman and Wonder Woman are cautious about the appearance of a new hero who calls himself Wonderstar. But this mysterious hero seems to be asking for nothing more than their guidance in dealing with his strange erratic powers and for their help in protecting his loved ones and his secret identity. The only problem is that his past is a blank slate. He doesn't know who he is, where he comes from, or why he feels the strange connection to the Man of Steel and the Amazon Warrior. Out in trades this week, we've got Batman Arkham Origins hardcover. Based on the hit video game, this volume collects in print for the first time the groundbreaking multi-path digital comic. This prequel story features an inexperienced Batman going up against crime bosses Black Mask and the Penguin for the first time. Next, we have Green Lantern Lights Out trade paperback. In this epic from Green Lantern 24, GL Core number 24, New Guardians 23 and 24, Red Lanterns 24, GL Annual number 2, and GL 23.1 Relic, Relic has arrived. The lights of the lanterns are fading as the emotional spectrum is being drained. It's up to Hal and the Green Lanterns to rally the core if they're going to survive. We've also got Larflee's Volume 2, The Face of Greed trade paperback. In these stories from issues 6 through 12, Larflee's has become the embodiment of a power battery. Having been defeated by his once undead corpsmen, Larflee's is locked away in the dungeon to serve as the remaining Orange Lantern's power battery. It will take a cosmic miracle for Larflee's to escape and regain control over his Orange Lanterns. Next, we have Lucifer Volume 5 trade paperback. In this final volume, collecting issues 62 to 75, the forces of heaven, hell, and everyone in between wage a final battle to determine the fate of both Yahweh and Lucifer's creations, a fate no one, not even the Lightbringer, could foresee. And in the aftermath of the battle, how will Lucifer and his cohorts pick up their lives and tie up loose ends? We've also got Showcase Presents The Legion of Superheroes Volume 5 trade paperback. These 1970s stories reestablished the Legion's popularity and introduced new heroes Timberwolf, Karate Kid, and Wildfire. Collect Superboy and The Legion of Superheroes number 193, 195, 197 to 220, and Karate Kid number 1. Next, we have Superman Action Comics Volume 4 Hybrid Trade Paperback. Determined to turn Metropolis against the Man of Steel, Lex Luthor unleashes a virus on Metropolis capable of rewriting the DNA of those infected, including Superman. Collecting Action Comics number 19 through 24, plus Tales from Young Romance number 1 and Superman Annual number 2. 
We've also got Superman Action Comics Volume 5, What Lies Beneath Hardcover, and these stories from Action Comics number 25 through 29 and Secret Origins number 1, The Man of Steel features a Batman Zero Year tie-in as a cocky young Superman battles the forces of nature to save Gotham City. Then all hell breaks loose as Superman is caught between an alien menace and the super-powered soldier the U.S. Army is sent to kill it. Next, we have Tales of the Batman, Len Wein hardcover. These tales from the 1970s, written by Len Wein, pit Batman against the villainy of the Joker, the Riddler, Catwoman, Mr. Freeze, Ra's al Ghul, and many others. Collected from Batman number 307 to 310, 312 to 319, 321 to 324, 326 and 327, Detective Comics 408, 444 to 448, 466, 478, and 479, 500, and 514, and Untold Legends of the Batman 1 through 3. And we have Twilight Trade Paperback, DC's science fiction hero star in this title collecting the three-issue 1990 miniseries. Twilight tells the story of how one of the star rovers became a living god when caught in an explosion with a race of immortal creatures called Methuseloids. It's up to renegade hero Tommy Tomorrow to stop his former ally, but he ends up absorbing Sorensen's power and becoming an all-powerful tyrant himself. Okay, so that's it for DC this week, but of course there's still plenty of other books out this week too, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at he'sgotissues.com to see both the Marvel and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week, with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney, saying Merry Christmas and I've got issues.